On a related issue, Ambassador Dobriansky, you climate change policy. You have been very active in that arena. The importance of reducing um, emissions of, uh, of greenhouse gases. Uh, this is critical for the environment going forward. And while the Obama administration has developed a climate action plan, the U.S. Congress has not uh, done so and has failed to adopt any climate change legislation, where, even though states have picked up some of the slack. Um, what do you think the United States can practically do without the support of Congress, both here domestically and globally? Well, actually, whether it's the United States or it's another country, you actually uh, uh, said it in your question, and that is action at a local level usually is the most sustainable, it's the most impactful, and it also, it, it can really, you know, it can really matter, matter to the community, and, and it, it usually is also the most cost effective. A lot of times there have been strategies put forth by countries of top-down approaches, and these top-down approaches don't pay attention to the circumstances on the ground or the economies. So one of the things that I think can and should be done is what is happening. Let's just take in the United States. You have a lot of very interesting developments happening at local levels. And why does that matter? Because some communities are better equipped to deal with, you know, um, uh, uh, renewable energies. They might have, uh, you know, better circumstances vis-a-vis -vis solar power uh, versus wind power or hydropower. Um, other communities are interested in looking at how you uh, deal with energy efficiency, building codes, the building of new communities, and how to make them more energy efficient. Uh, some, some of our states are coal-based. And by the way, there's some incredible innovative technologies that are being built. Uh, for example, the state of Mississippi has lignite coal, and there you have uh, the first of its kind of carbon capture and gasification, and then taking that carbon and turning it into enhanced oil recovery. These kinds of groundbreaking innovations and technologies are so applicable to other parts of the world that are grappling with how do you deal with climate change. So I place a premium on innovation, technologies, looking at sustainable ways forward, and that you don't have to have one blueprint uh, you mm. know, that's going to fit all, all sizes and all um, uh, situations.